All right, I think we're live. Um, hey guys, how you doing? This is Jason Robinson from Illustration by Design. I apologize. Oh, oh here we go. Hold on. Okay, let's try again. Hi, I'm Jason Robinson, Illustration by Design. As you can tell, I'm having problems with uh, my live stream. And uh, so I've pretty much given up on ever expecting this to go smoothly. So it is what it is. Anywho, hi, I'm Jason. I draw for a living. I uh, collect comics. I do cartoony type stuff. And today I'm going to be drawing uh, Kamala Khan, uh, who is also known as the new Ms. Marvel. Maybe not new. She's been around for probably about almost 10 years now, but she's crappy. One of the worst characters Marvel's come up with in a couple of decades. And uh, no one really likes her, but she was created or co-created by uh, one of uh, Marvel Comics' uh, diversity hires, Sana Amanet. And, uh, and so she, who was the, uh, I think she was like the, um, she, she was like the head of creating new characters or, or whatever. And uh, so she's been heavily pushed, Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, by Marvel as a result, despite the fact that no one likes her, she's a crappy character, and she has the dumbest powers imaginable. Uh, let's take a look at her real fast. Uh, da, 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 share screen. As you can tell, I'm thrilled by this character. Um, let's see. Share. I think she's sharing. There she is. Look at her. How well, dopey she is. Her powers are making her fists really big. And that's about it. Oh, but she she's kind of like Mr. Fantastic, except not as creative. So all she really does is make her fists really big or do really dumb stuff. In fact, her powers are so stupid that uh, when they made a live action TV series based on her, which of course they did because they had to promote her because she was created by Sana Aminat. Um, They completely changed her power set. So her powers are so lame that even Marvel didn't want to portray her powers in live action and they completely changed them. So I figured, you know what? I haven't drawn in a while. I've done a live stream in a while. So I will draw Kamala Khan, but I will improve her. And make her cooler and make her more of a character that people might actually want to buy a comic book based on her because they've rebooted her comic book about six or seven times already because people stopped people didn't buy it and because the sales sales were so low they just dropped it but then they tried to reboot it again in order to try to shoehorn this character into into the public eye so they've put her in multiple comic books put her in multiple video games are putting her in movies now even though no one likes her but be that as, as it may i'm going to draw her because they just killed her off in marvel comics they didn't kill her off they're going to bring her back but um they killed her off for now because of, you know again no one likes her so uh i figured i'd draw her and then we will um try to improve her so let's see um i'm gonna go through this really fast because i want to I want to start drawing and uh, not have to worry about <laughs> looking at her, looking at her goofy character that much longer. Um, let's see, share window. All right, this is Kamala Khan. This is the original Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, who's now Captain Marvel. This is her in her first appearance, her first costume. This is her second costume, and what I'm going to do is basically take Kamala Khan put her in this costume I'm gonna make her look cooler um, and I'm also gonna kind of make her older I think Kamala Khan right now is about 18 years old but she still looks like she's 12 and she's dressed in a costume that as you can see is like a 12 year old's costume um, so I'm gonna make her in her mid 20s age her up a little put her in this costume, and make her look cool. So that's basically it. And I'm gonna use this as a, as a basis. This is a, this is her, the first appearance of her new costume back in, what was it, 1978, I think? Uh, designed by Dave Cockrum, 
So I will be drawing Kamala Khan in this costume. So she will look cooler and more appealing to comic book audiences who are mostly men. So uh, superhero comics are mo read by mostly men. So let's put her in a costume that will make guys want to read her as opposed to the dopey costume she has now that no one wants to read her in. So that's what I'm going to do today. And, uh, you know, just try to have some fun with it. But anyway, this is your first time here. Thanks for watching. If, uh, if you uh, like, uh, if you like the content, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of future videos, and hit the like button. If not, do it anyway. I'd appreciate it. Let's see. Um, all right. Now that that's over with, all the pl preliminaries, I'm going to scoot on over to my drawing table and uh, try to try to get my try to get my phone working so I can actually see the chat if anyone's here I don't even know if anyone's here not that it matters that much um, but I do have to look at the chat just in case cool no one's here so I don't have to worry about that much all right Now, it has been a while since I've drawn, and I think I need to because when I don't draw, I get in a kind of a sour mood, so drawing will help me relax and not stress about things as much and uh, overall think, make things better, more better. But... Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have had a good week. The weekend is here. You don't have to worry about work or too much of anything else for now. I was, was kind of worried because earlier in the week, uh, I noticed that in the Northeast, there's a whole bunch of smoke and stuff going on from Canada. And I was like, ugh, looked terrible. So my mom still lives up north, so I called her. She seems to be doing okay. But, uh, yeah, for about a day or two, it was, like, really, really ugly up there. But it seems to have been clearing up, so that is that is very good. So hopefully all of you guys are doing good as well, and uh, things are going okay for you. All right, let me get my drawing utensils. Let me, uh, let's see, MK is here. Hey, MK, how are you doing? Good seeing you. He says, a lot of smoke here, too. Let me check it's my phone, so I can actually read it. Dag nabbit. Come on. Come on. Ugh. I love live streaming. It always goes so smoothly. Um, MK says, uh, different reasons, though. Cheers. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ah, he's talking about a different kind of type of smoke. Okay. Anywho, um, hopefully you guys don't inhale too much of that smoke either. So stay healthy. Smoke generally is not good for your lungs, so you want to avoid it as much as possible. Ah, all right, let me drag my chair over. Burp, 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 burp. Ah. Oh. How's your day, bud? Day is going okay. Um, it's just uh, I'm not a, a big fan of live streaming, so it stresses me out. So that's that's. You know what? When live streaming is the biggest stress you have in life, your life is going pretty dang well. So my life is going pretty dang well. I just, uh, I just hate the whole performative aspect of live streaming. I have to entertain people, and I'd rather just draw and not have to not have to worry about that stuff. So, um, if I can find my pencil, uh, that's another thing. You have to. You have to be organized to live stream properly, and I am not the most organized person on the planet, so it's always a struggle for me, but I'm doing good. Health is good, family's good, and I have a place to live, eat, and sleep, so 
I'm doing good. MK says, yeah, I feel that. I don't like cameras in general, so it's hard for me to handle the live streaming thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it, but I know I have to do it, um, yeah, both yeah, both for self-promotion, but also for social interaction reasons. You know, I, I, I freelance. I'm, I'm at home all the time by myself, and I am I tend to get curmudgeon -y. Um, and so it forces me to interact with other people, even if, even if they're not real, you know, in front, really in front of me, you know, it forces me to interact with, with other people online and mind my manners. And, uh, that's a good thing. Um, I really enjoy your live streams though. I think you, you do a good job, man. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> I apologize for, for the, uh for the hiccups. Um, now, what, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, yeah, I got to turn the, <laughs> I have to turn my um, camera on so you guys can see what I'm drawing. That, that would help. Hold on. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, of course, the paper won't stay in one place. Stay. All right. Let's see. Give me a second. Um, <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, camera, star camera, will that work? Okay, let's see. I think I shut a whole bunch of stuff off. Stop screen. I think that'll work. Actually, hold on. Uh, ah, wait, hold on. Ah, no wonder. I had the, the lens, the ca camera cover down. That's why. That's why you couldn't see anything. There we go. All right, we got that settled. Uh, let me s stop sharing. Stop sharing. All right, there we go go and you can't see anything because my camera is all crooked hey joseph dreads here how you doing joseph Dredd? oh my gosh carrie's here everybody watch carrie make sure she doesn't start a fire or something you never know um all right let me situate my camera uh, it's all crooked dad snap it um let's see is that oh okay that's that's a little that's a little better that better. That's better. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, let's see. Um, Joseph Dredd says, "I'm just happy that you're you're streaming when I'm not asleep." Yeah, and also I figured I need I need to start streaming when people are awake. That would be helpful towards uh, getting getting eyeballs on my channel. So. I have to do that more. Um, now I, uh, oh my gosh. All right, light, got light, that's good. I got, um, okay, I have to set my camera so you guys can see it. Oops, let's zoom, okay, zoom out is good. Um, is it, I think it's, all right, focused. Okay, that's good. And all right, there we go. Okay, not one good thing. You won't have to wait five thousand years for me to do a rough sketch and and uh, try to figure out what I'm drawing. I've already done that. I, I did that on the computer um, because I just uh, I didn't want to torture you guys with watching me try to put together a sketch. So I've done the sketch. What I'm going to do is just transfer it onto Bristol board uh, for, you know, so I can get it done and then ink it and then it'll be finished. Um, now, I'm probably only going to pencil it today. I'll probably be back, if not tomorrow, then Monday um, to uh, to ink it. So but anyway, this is this is what it looks like so far. Well, actually, well, there we go. This is probably easier if I just flip it up there. There we go. Here's a sketch right there. Now, basically, um, I took that original page from uh, 
I think it was Ms. Marvel number uh, 20 or Ms. Marvel number 18. I can't remember um, um, where she's looking at her new costume and uh, saying these words. So I figure I'll just put Kamala Khan in that pose. And this is Kamala Khan. I guess she's like an um, aged up um, to mid 20s. So much more interesting than the current Kamala Khan, who's now dead. Thank goodness. So, but they'll bring her back, you know, just like to bring everybody uh, back. You can never trust combo companies. If they say someone's dying or dead, they're not really. They're just trying to get your money. So, um, yes, G Gable Penny Shots is much thicker. Yes, yes. She, now, um, Ms. Marvel or Kamala Khan's powers are that she embiggens parts of her body. She embiggens usually her fists which is really stupid. Um, so I figured, you know, if she has embiggening powers, then why wouldn't she embiggen the parts that are most important? And that's what I'm doing here. I'm helping her. I'm, I'm embiggening the best parts of the female figure. So that's the drawing. So thanks for joining me. Sit back, relax, grab a Coke, get some popcorn, and uh, enjoy watching me trace my own drawing. <laughs> Uh, Carrie says, see, Snitch now, the one to watch, has arrived. Your eyes should be on Gable. Oh, I have to watch Gable. Oh, okay, Gable Penny Shot. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of he's kind of trouble. So uh Carrie, your job is to watch Gable. Everybody else, your jobs are to watch Carrie. Okay? So you all have your your assignments. Make sure not to uh you know, don't mess it up. <laughs> Are you really going to listen to a cricket whose best friend is Pinocchio, the expert of lies? But but the thing is, when Pinocchio lies, you're able to you know he's lying because his nose grows. And Carrie says, "Boy, I'm an angel." Yes, you can always trust someone who tells you that they're an angel. That means they're not. Um, all right, let let me put on Carrie's favorite music, which is Blitz music. She she loves that so much. I try to play it during every stream just for Carrie. Carrie says, more like it's the only music you have. No, I have Enya as well, Carrie, but uh, I can't because YouTube will, will uh, strike my channel when I play it. Guys, if you would do me a favor, please share out the stream on social media. I, of course, didn't make time to do that. So if you do it on my behalf, I'd appreciate it. Sorry, I got to scoop my chair up. Now, let me see. Um, got my pencil. Drawing that's too far down. Let's see.
guys can see what I'm doing, which is good. Hmm. Let's see, Gail Penish, I says, good call on the pose. It's a good choice. Um, well, thank Dave Cockrum, who I am, uh, this is sort of an homage to him. He's the guy who created uh, this costume for Ms. Marvel back in 1977, so. Dave Cockrum also created most of the, uh, most of the new X-Men, like Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, so. Very prolific guy. He also created a lot of the, uh, a lot of the costumes for Legion of Superheroes back in the seventies. MK says, yeah, especially with the reflection. Oh, in terms of the pose? Oh, yeah. Well, so was, again, Dave Cockrum, he, he had a knack for showing off characters' assets. <laughs> now... Why ain't you the favorite, Gable? He skipped everyone else's comments. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for me to concentrate on more than one thing at a time. So I am not a multitasker. So I, uh, I'm either drawing or focusing on the chat. And it's hard for me to do both. I will go back up and read the chat, all Carrie's comments, since she is so upset. <sighs> Hold on. Let's see here. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, Carrie shows up, starts trouble as usual. Um, Carrie says that reaction is a little insulting. I'm an angel. Yes, of course you are. Um, Gable says that he's an angel. Um, MK says, speaking of dead characters, ah. How they do that to punish a man? I mean, in what way is that not just an insult to the readers or fans? They don't care about the readers or fans. 
at this point. They haven't cared about them probably in the last decade or so. Since around the time they started Ms. this new Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan. Now, I, actually, it started for me. It started when they uh, when they changed Carol Danvers from Ms. Marvel to uh, to a militant sort of masculine Captain Marvel. It just ruined the character. And yeah, you know, they've been very much on a quasi political bent since then. So. Marvel and DC have not been uh, have not really cared about what the what the fans want in over a decade. So them killing off the Punisher because fans love him does not surprise me. But like I said, he'll be back. You know, at some point, it will serve Marvel's interest to bring the character back, and uh, you know, try to get fans to support it. So. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, Joseph Dress says copyright music will get a strike from YouTube. Well, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's exactly a, well, it will get a strike, but I know there are different levels. It won't it won't get the channel taken down necessarily, or or the even the even the live stream. But uh, you know, I just want to avoid the whole thing altogether just by playing non copyrighted music like this electro swing stuff I play and plus Carrie loves it so that's a bonus um MK says I have a female ghost character in my game she's a she's a companion she has this type of figure except she's made of green smoke cool neat Carrie says have you ever done pe pencils at dawn with with hockey that will get eyes on your channel I don't know who hockey is um so no I'm afraid not um all right now we we caught up so hopefully carrier is happy now mk says it's okay if he did if all he did was read my comments it'd be a full-time job some of us type a lot <laughs> um mk says i wrote an angry letter to congress about it but they have not replied yet hey cross comics is here how you doing rick piper good seeing you hope you're doing well um Kira says, send another letter, MK. Be outraged. Everybody's saying hello to Rick Piper because Rick Piper is a superstar. MK says, I'm pretty much done with Marvel at this point. Me as well. I have not bought a Marvel comic. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it has been years since I bought a Marvel comic. I bought a couple of DCs, but no Marvel, and which is sad because I am a big Marvel fan, Marvel Comics fan. Uh, and it is it, taken a lot for for them to cause me to stop buying their books, but they managed to do it. You know, you uh, <clears throat> you insult and tick off the uh, the customers enough, we'll just stop buying your 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 uh, your products and uh, spend our money elsewhere, which I've been doing. I've been spending a lot of money on comic books, but not Marvel, and not DC. So they have only themselves to blame for that because I was a big fan of their books. I've been buying Marvel Comics books since the 1970s. So it's a shame. But, you know, their loss. And, and I, it, the good thing is that, you know, the, the Marvel Comics that I do love, they're all back issues. I've been, I, I've, I've been buying tons of Marvel back issues over the years. Um, you know, I mean, you, you, some of you may have seen my unboxing live streams. I mean, half of them were Marvel, if not most of them were Marvel comics. Um, so, you know, I have nothing against good Marvel comic books, but it's just the crappy ones they've been making the last decade that I refuse to spend a dime on. I will not enable bad behavior from uh, comic book companies. So keep it up, Marvel. Keep losing my money and other people's. Um, MK says, I mean, those Spider-Man flicks are still pretty tolerable. Everything else has just been garbage. Yeah, some of the movies have been good. I mean, I, I've enjoyed a lot of the movies, but um, yeah, especially recently, the, the, mov the movies have followed the, the same path as their comic books. In other words, becoming trash and not worth spending a dime on. So I haven't... I haven't 
seen a Marvel movie in a while either. I mean, I've, I mean, I've, I've seen, I've been to them in the last year. I mean, I saw the, um, was it the Multitude of Madness? Was that what it's called? With Doctor Strange, I saw the Peter Parker, the Spider-Man multiverse movie. That's pretty, that, that, that was actually very good. I, I enjoyed that. It was mainly because of the uh, the the previous Spider-Man, um, Tobey Maguire, and uh, uh, what's the other one's name? Um, uh, it's terrible. I can't remember his name. But the other guy, uh, them showing up in a movie, is what made it watchable and enjoyable. Because I, I, I now Tom Holland's a is easily the worst Spider-Man, um, worst uh, actor. It, He's the worst. Yeah, he's the he's the worst actor who's played who's played Spider Man in the movies. Um, worst portrayal, rather. So he's probably a decent actor, but his portrayal of Spider Man has been terrible. <laughs> um, just address this: some copyright stuff will get the stream interrupted. That's true. Hey, the head ninja's here. How you doing? Good seeing you. At had, at, sorry, at at ad hoc art. Jason, what is that? Um, is that that um, hockey that uh, Carrie mentioned before? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look him up. I don't, I don't know who that is. Cross Comics says, done with D Marvel and DC, then choose Cross Comics. Make it the next big company. That's true. If you guys haven't subscribed to or, yeah, subscribe to Cross Comics, you should. Go to his YouTube channel. Subscribe. He says that he's doing well. That's good. Very good. Cross Comics says, not much uh, Head Ninja. I'm just watching and listening to Jason. Oh, I'm sorry, Cross Comics. Rick Piper, I'll try to be more interesting. Um, they dog Spider-Man and turn the X-Men into villains. That doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, they're, ugh, it's just, uh, they've just ruined so many great characters. That why, Now, why did I do that? That makes her look like she, she has stuff coming out of her nose. <laughs> Looks terrible. I want her to look good, not as dopey as she does now. Oh my gosh. Um, all right. What else? What else am I missing? Um, Head Nisha says, I got to see Across the Spider Verse. I, I'm not sure if I want to watch it. I love the first one. It was the first time that I actually liked Miles Morales, who is pretty close to Sama Aminat. Uh, sorry, pretty close to, <laughs> I, I get the mixed up Sama Aminat and, uh, and Kamala Khan because Kamala Khan is nothing more than a, Self insert of Sana Aminat. But Miles Morales in the comics is pretty close to Kamala Khan in terms of being just a dumb character. Um, but I liked him in Across the Spider Verse. Or it, it was, is that what it's called? The, Into the Spider Verse, the, the, the first movie, because it made him interesting. It gave him, gave him a personality, his own personality, not Peter Parker's personality, like in the video game or like in the comics or, or um he, he was this distinctive character all, all in him, in himself but i'm i'm worried about this new movie i haven't seen it but i'm scared to watch it I'm, I'm 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 worried they're gonna woke it up and based on what i saw where like all the spider-man or pretty much all 99 percent of them are like black and brown i'm like i, I don't have patience for that um so <laughs> it's like no all right um mk says yeah activision's call of duty getting a little of that too these days good to see really made my day to dr disrespect well i don't understand what that means um <laughs> last mo marvel movie i saw was guardians 3. i saw guardians 3 i was not impressed um it was probably the worst out of all of them yeah it was the worst out of all three it was dopey it, it was it we made very little i mean it was cool the coolest thing was seeing rocket Ra rocket's backstory but that was the only cool thing about it everything else was was just dumb about that movie to me anyway um mk says uh yeah, part of their narrative are the heroes are bad guys and the bad guys are just misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you have uh, what, what was it called? It's um, uh, my brain is not working today. 
there's a word for it. It's um, moral relativism. I think that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> moral relativism, where, where it, do, it doesn't matter what you do. There's always a, a reason, always a justification for, for doing bad things. There's, there are no hard standards of right and wrong, good and evil. That's, that's basically what they're embracing now. Um, Cross Comics says, I saw Across the Spider-Verse. It was pretty good. I just didn't like what they did to Spider-Man 2099. That's another, that's another major thing I did not like about the trailer. They, they made, um, what, what's his name? It's uh, Miguel O'Hara. They turned him into a bad guy. They turned him into a villain, the villain of, of, the, of the movie. I, I don't like that. It's the same thing I, I just, well, I didn't like Eternals to begin with. I thought, I mean, the, the movie. I love the comic book, but the movie was crap. But what I really didn't like was they, they made Icarus, the hero of the comic, they made him the bad guy. Not because he was evil, but because he wanted to do the right thing. And it's sort of, it seems like the same thing with uh, with Into the Spider-Verse, where the person who wants to do the right thing is portrayed as a bad guy. They did the same thing in, uh, if you ever watched WandaVision, in WandaVision, Wanda had, had taken an entire town of like, I don't know, 16,000 people ca captive and were torturing them for like a month, you know, making them do her will. And um, and the the bad guy, the bad guy in in the in the in this in the miniseries was the um, the guy from the uh, from the army who was trying to stop Wanda. They made him the evil guy. It's so dumb. It, but, but again, it's more relativism where we're good. Evil is good, and good is evil. Um. Ted Nisha says, I hate that, MK. You, you're not supposed to side with a villain, even if you do get where they're coming from. It's one, yeah, it's one thing to have a sympathetic villain so you understand why they're doing what they're doing, but it's another thing to, to, to portray the good guy as evil for trying to stop them. Dr. Disrespect is a gaming streamer. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't really watch. Well, I do. I, I do. I, I'm just not familiar with, with him. I'm, I don't watch it, that stuff enough. Activision kicked a major streamer off their platform because he tweeted, leave the little kids alone. They are not okay with that. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, so, so now Call of Groomers is trending on Twitter. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not, you need to sort of <laughs> fill in the blanks for me because I, I, I'm not familiar with a lot of this stuff. Um, okay, so, so a streamer, a, a gaming streamer, told people who are into who who are, are trying to like when you say groom kids you mean like promoting like um like transgender lgbt stuff to kids little kids yeah i mean i i, I agree with that don't do that <laughs> that stuff is not it's not for kids yeah leave that stuff to for adults um but yeah if, if activision or, or call of duty is a uh, is punishing people, streamers, for, for saying that, saying the obvious, that you should not be promoting sexual material to children, then, uh, yeah, they deserve to be called out for it. Activision, Call of Duty. So that's good. Yeah, anyone promoting, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not material. It's not stuff that kids should be sort of fed <laughs> by anyone. Let kids be kids. Leave the kids alone, says MK. Yes, I agree. I'm trying to imagine that stuff being. I mean, I mean, I've. It's it's just it's de, it's depressing and it makes me angry because I because I, I see especially like Disney, and uh, and some of these other companies that whose whose market is specifically children. They're constantly doing it, um, and I, I I do not like it. <laughs>
Yeah, exactly. They grow up fast enough as it is. Don't don't screw them up before they even get old enough to uh, understand what's going on. Okay, so it's going to look great, man. I hope so. Maybe someone will even buy it when I'm done. I'm mainly just doing it for fun. Oh, 
Um, MK says, that'd be awesome, though. I'd love to be like the Mr. Beast random money dude, a smaller audience art stream. Okay, I'm missing something. <laughs> MK says, uh, first, don't let my game start making me that funny money. I'll go off the rails out here in the trenches. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what your game? What game? You, are you gambling? Are you playing uh, slots or <laughs> poker? I don't know. Uh, that'd be awesome, though. I'd love to be like the Mr. Beast, random money, do the smaller audience art streamers. Sure, if you ever hit the lottery, hit me up. I'd be happy to take your uh, ten thousand or twenty thousand dollar handouts. Oh, you're developing a video game. Okay, cool. Neat. 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 Crosscom says, are you going to enter Marsupial and Nerd Wonders Challenge Contest? What is that? What is their contest and challenge? Uh, MK says his game is called Zero Chill, and eventually I'd like to talk. Oh, <laughs> make it talk to you about making an illustrated comic to accompany it. Okay, but first I need that successful video game money. Yeah. Let's see. Does that look? That looks interesting, but <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it looks right yet. You know, the thing he wrote. Hold on. I got this thing covering up half of what. You know, the thing he wrote about in the Dillard live streams DM group on Twitter. Um. Oh, um, yeah, he, um, Marsupio mentioned something about Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. But is that an actual thing? I thought there, I thought he was just joking. <laughs> is that, a, is that a real thing that they're doing? Hey, Melissa Lester, how you doing? Good seeing you. Hope you're doing well. Hope your sister is staying out of trouble. Um, MK says it's good, though, so far. A bit like Fallout 4 meets Chrono Trigger, but with more crafting and base building. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't play that many games. The only game I've really been playing is uh, Fortnite, and I've gotten quasi-obsessed with it. Um, and I like it because they keep on changing things with it so i don't get bored they, they just um they just came out with a new chapter um a couple days ago or, or yesterday and uh completely changing everything oh, well, basically everything i mean it, it, they've changed probably about 75 percent of the game so um cross comic says i think i think it's real i started a concept mm, concept I'll start a concept for it. Okay. Carrie says, you're the only one that's trouble. Ah, yes, of course, Carrie. You're not trouble at all. Um, Melissa says, we're keeping you down to a dull roar. That's good. That's good. You don't want the SWAT team coming out to your place again. Oh, yeah, he's dangerous. He's drawing women with curves. I think that's illegal these days. It is. It is, basically. I am... Uh, so, Kerry, for once, is right. I am, I am stirring up trouble. So,
Unfortunately, Kamala Khan is legal in comic book age, so uh, I should be okay. Let's see. <laughs> Carrie says, finally you admit it. <laughs> yes, Carrie. I'm guilty of embiggening Kamala Khan's best assets. Let me see. That looks okay. That looks okay. Kamala Khan has assets. Yes, she 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 has her embiggening power. She, she here she's embiggening the best parts of her. So. Oh, I watched uh, <laughs> the new Fast and Furious movie last week, and it was uh, it was worse than I thought, <laughs> worse than I feared. <laughs> I like the Fast and Furious movies because they are dumb. Um, they're just sort of mindless, dopey movies, but this was this is probably the worst out of all of them. Um, and it wasn't because of Jason Momoa. I, I like Jason Momoa in, in this movie. Um, he plays sort of like a goofy. Um, sort of Joker type character, just completely crazy. Um, you know, it was it was silly, but you know, he, he was he was a likable, amiable villain. Um, no, the, pro the problem was just it was just so badly written. It was so dumb. I mean, they're already dumb movies, the Fast and Furious films, but you don't have to make them like super dumb. And uh, they they did with this uh, with this film, and pl and plus they had like every every dang 
B actor and actress in Hollywood show up in this film. I, I was just like, why? What the heck is this person doing in this movie? Ed, ev everyone was in this movie. Everyone looking for with their hand hand out looking for you know spare change showed up in this movie. Um, hey, Amy Lester's here. How you doing? Good seeing you. Melissa was here, and uh, I asked asked where, where's Amy. So I'm glad you're able, finally able to post bail and show up to uh, say hello. Um, but uh, hope you're doing well, Amy. Hope everything's going cool for you. Um, but yeah, with the with Fast X, Fast and Furious 10. I mean, they had every every B movie actor and actress in this movie, which it, it was yeah, that was part. It was kind of fun seeing random people show up out of the blue, but it was also after a while it got annoying. I was just like, "What? Okay, enough. We we get it. You 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 got five zillion spare actresses and actors to show up in this movie, um, and then uh, oh, and also every every female character in this movie, all of them didn't matter who they were, what their skill level was was a what was was a martial arts expert on the level of bruce lee it, it was <laughs> it was so ridiculous Every, when you have characters like me i don't know if you guys ever watch fast furious movies you have a character like mia who is vin diesel's sister in the movie she she doesn't do anything in the movie i mean in, in in these in these movies she has no skills she can't really drive she she's basically just quasi eye candy she's she's married she's married to uh uh what's his name brian who was sort of the, the second in second lead in the series played by paul walker who died about almost 10 years ago but she still shows up in the movies and she is taking on a whole squad of like uh swat team guys in full body armor and carrying uh you know automatic weapons and she's kicking her butt sing you know hand to hand and make any sense it's like when did mia learn how to fight every female character in this movie is taking on dozens of arm of armed men and beating them it it, it was <laughs> okay it's okay if it's just like one girl okay one girl specializes in 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 butt kicking okay i can buy that when like all of them do i can't buy that it's just, it's just nonsense um amy says she's doing good my phone was down to charge for a while sorry the movie wasn't good i heard both good and bad about spider-verse yeah i don't i mean i don't like the fact they made spider-man 2099 the villain i don't like that at all and, and also the length of it. i heard it's very long it's over two hours and i i don't know if i have the patience for it uh, I, i'll 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 probably check it out but I just I'm just thinking about it. I I it, I I get I get aggravated just thinking about watching it and seeing characters I like dragged through the mud and uh, and dumped on like like Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I I don't. That's not a movie I I, I look forward to watching. So. Um. <laughs> Amy Lester says, uh, "Yes, martial arts mastery isn't a lifelong discipline in movies. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it it's just it. I just find it annoying. You know, it's like because I would say ninety nine hundred ninety nine women out of a thousand cannot beat two hundred pound men in uh, in full body armor. You know." So, when when you have all the women in a move in, in in a certain movie who aren't martial artists per se doing that, and the men are also armed with you know automatic weapons and shooting them at them, and they and they don't hit the it it, it it's, I, I can't buy it I can't buy it so. <laughs> um, they rescue some guy with a man purse too. Mm. Oh, oh, the women. Oh, um, I can't remember. They probably did. I know they rescued Dom, Dom's son, but he's only like, he's only like eleven. 
I know they who who else did they rescue? It, it it did a bunch of stuff. It was just it was just it was a, it was like an hour and a half of uh, explosions, gunfire, which is fine. I love that stuff, but I don't know. It was it was just it was just markedly dumber than any other Fast and Furious movie I I've watched. And I've watched some dumb ones. So, <laughs> but I will I will and and the worst thing is. The worst thing is the it is a two part movie, so you get to the end of the movie and it doesn't even resolve itself. It's just like you know you have to wait till the next movie to watch. It was it's like a movie this badly written should not take two hours. I mean two movies to tell the story. You know it's uh <laughs> it was just terrible. Well, I'll probably watch the next one too because I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for uh for for dumb movies. I I love the um. What's the other dumb movie franchise that I love? Um, they stopped making them, but um, Resident Evil, starring Mila Jovovich, and I, I only the only, re- the only reason I watched those movies was, was because Mila Jovovich starred in them, because because I love her, I love I love her, I, 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 I like looking at her. I mean, she she's she's not a great actress, but she's she's from for me she's very entertaining to watch. So I, I will watch all of her terrible B movies. Um, so I watched Resident Evil movies and I watched Fast and Furious movies uh, for different reasons, I, um, but still. Um, Joseph Dress says, that's like Raffi in Star Trek Picard season three. Oh yeah, seriously. Yeah, they turned her into a major butt kicker in, in season three. And, uh, and it's, it's the same thing. She's like beating these aliens who should be able to like slam her through a wall um, without even trying. And she's just like taking them out on her own with no problem, and I was just like, it didn't make any sense. This this woman should is is a, is a woman in her mid fifties taking on characters that that can bench press, you know, trucks. It was dumb. <laughs> uh, Joseph Dress says uh, she was a strung out junkie lying on the floor, and two episodes later, she's one shots wharf and one in hand to hand combat. Yeah, I know, stupid. I'm not buying that. MK says, we're reaching levels of cringe previously thought impossible. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Amy Lester says, I was watching a really old movie from before the martial arts were introduced to Hollywood. The fighting scene was slow and awkward. It struck me that was probably what all, oh, what an actual fight would look like. Oh, yeah, of course. (laughs) Real fights are sloppy. (laughs) Not that I've been in any, but um, from what I've seen, Actual fights are very are not are not uh, pretty or clean or you know they're they're messy. So they're not they're not um, choreographed. So uh, well, it's movies. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> oh no. MK says real fights usually involve more bodily fluids, not just blood. Oh yuck! And some level of spontaneous partial disrobing. Somehow pants belts fail. Shirts become rags with a neck stretched out eight feet. And someone, maybe everyone, is going to make an ugly cry face. Ugh. 
Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been in a fight since. My gosh. Since I was maybe 10. Probably probably younger, nine. <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't an actual fight. It was just like a a sprawling like wrestling match um, at school. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a fighter. Also, no one wins. It's actually dumbest thing. Oh, it's actually the dumbest thing. The movie I thought. The movie I saw, says Amy, just had lots of pushing people. Yeah. I, I love a well choreographed fight scene, but um, but mainly with martial arts. Yeah, the thing I about, like about martial arts movies is that is that is that the fight scenes are usually pretty bloodless. I don't like realistic fight scenes where people are just like like fight club i didn't it was a good movie but i didn't like it uh, you know it's it, it's too brutal it's too realistic in a sense that you know you punch people and their teeth fall i don't like that stuff i'm not a fan i i like i like fantasy type fights where you know these guys are like doing backflips and like you know twirling through the air and stuff and then kicking each other but you know when a fight's over, it's like there's no blood or very little blood, and like you know, it, that's that. It's it's it, it's yeah. Where you watch it, it's like oh man, that was cool. You know, if I'm if I'm watching a fight scene at the end, I'm like oh, you know, it's like I wanna I wanna throw up <laughs> from watching it. Then I I <laughs> I'd rather not watch it in the first place. Carrie says we need Mrs. Cricket here to share some stories on Snitch. No, sorry, she's at work where, she, where where she's supposed to be to make me money. Um, no, <laughs> uh, she's she's unavailable at the time. I'm sorry. Please call back later. Uh, <laughs> MK says the only fight worth fighting is self defense, and the only reason to fight is, is to stop fighting. Huh? Interesting. Melissa says, true. Amy says, yeah, use your words. Don't push people and make ugly cry faces. That's not, yeah, that's not good. And then she says, bloody nose or bloody lip is fine, but shouldn't be all over the floor. Yeah, ah, yeah, just, ah, yeah. I don't have a strong stomach for that stuff. I'd rather just, uh, you know. Keep it clean. Okay, says, uh, yeah, communication skills have really, really gone downhill with the advent of social media. Yeah, the internet was a mistake, folks. <laughs> things were better before the internet. Before we had the internet, things were a lot better. Society was much better off. Acrobatic stunt shows where the bad guys are taking a nap and the hero walks off triumphantly. Exactly. Those are the best fights. If every fight could be like that, it'd be awesome. Um, Carrie says, I hope she doesn't watch your live your lives with that comment. Oh, your live stream. Okay, with that comment. Uh, she probably will, but that's okay. That's all right. I don't say anything about her that I wouldn't say to her face. And then duck. And then run and hide. MK says, I don't really blame the internet, though, to be honest. The internet existed for a long time prior to the great dumbening. The real problem is, is so-called social media. That's when they jumped the shark. Yeah, that's true. Before Facebook and Twitter, you know, it was, it was still pretty, 
pretty sane on the interwebs. So. Hmm. Hmm. Let me turn this off and take a look. Let me take a look. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to. I mean, I'll. It looks okay, but I'm going to have to make some adjustments off screen before I start inking it. Inking this. Blah. Inking this. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And Melissa says, yeah, those fights are fun. Um, MK says, the corporate promoted Tiny Square logo gang. They've always been bad news. Melissa Lester says, they flash orange, disappear in a puff of smoke, and sometimes drop a treasure chest with a health potion and or craftables. What are you talking about, Melissa? <laughs> I don't understand. Who, who, who does that? Who flashes orange, disappears in a puff of smoke, and sometimes drop... Oh, you're talking about bad guys? Okay. Okay, gotcha. And, and you mean in video games. I think that's what you mean. MK says, and that's why I don't have a Facebook. Oh, the best fights. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's how that's a, that's a Melissa fights. She fights until the person disappears in a puff of smoke and leaves her something as a present. <laughs> Boss fights in video games. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hmm. Hmm, that's funny. MK says, except robots, they explode into actual smoke, sparks, and junk that you can pick up and grab things with. Mm. Mm. Hi there. Yeah, I need to play more video games. I, actually, I, I don't need to play more. I play. I need to play less video games. Even though I don't play a lot, it's like I, I've wasted so much time playing Fortnite. It's not funny. I'm not getting any better either. <laughs> I haven't live streamed myself playing Fortnite in, in quite a while, but uh, in case you're wondering, no, I'm not getting any better. <laughs> it's not improved, folks. I'm trying now. I'm trying to get better. I want to get to a point where I can live stream myself playing without being embarrassed, like within the first five seconds of playing. I'm not at that point yet. Oh, uh, MK says modern games strive to what? I'm looking at my phone. I, there's this dopey little heart thing. I don't know what this is for. I don't know what close. I don't know what that's for. It's like blocking my view. I can't see anything. <sighs> that's not helping. Um. Modern games strive to monopolize time. They figure if they don't, their competitors will, so they want every free second you will give them. Naturally, I'm opposed to this. My game will occasionally tell you to stop playing games and go touch grass. <laughs> Funny. Let's see. It is uh, 450. 450. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna try to finish this by 5:15. I think that'll be, I think that'll be two hours. Oh, I can't remember. No, it'll be almost two hours. But my wife's coming home soon, so I have to, I have to wrap this up pretty, pretty shortly. So I'm gonna maybe focus a little more on drawing. Um, Amy says, "Yeah, heart icon is kind of in the wet. Yeah, it, it is. I don't know what. I have an emoji if I need a heart. All right. I don't know why they put that there. So so dumb." Sorry, excuse me, pardon me. I yawned. You're not boring me, folks. It's just me. Man, I have nine people watching me. That's, that is awesome. I I should I should uh, stream during the day more often. <laughs> Thank you everybody for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. For your patience, putting up with my various ranting and Dopey comments. Um, MK says, I've decided I have the three cardinal sins of streaming that I live by. No yawning, eating on camera, mic, or excessive belching. Yeah, definitely no belching. That's, that's oh, disgusting. Yuck. Yeah, no belching, no flatulence, please. I will eat. I have a mint here because I need, I need something. I need some sustenance while I draw. And uh, a mint is better than nothing. And I have, and I have some water. Hmm, Kirkland. Yum. Hmm. Ah, okay. So that's not really eating. It is eating. It's quasi eating. It's semi eating. It's pseudo eating.
Um, just dress says, Jason, is this light boxing? Yes, it is. This is the light box here. See, that's it turned off. 
Um, I guess I can zoom out, but you know, it's like a it's just a box with uh, the light bulb inside, and uh, has like a plexiglass, translucent plexiglass on top, and then you know, button on the side, turn on, turn off, and then you know, you put your paper on top with the image you want to trace underneath it, and then yeah, there you go. That's it. That is the light box. I've had this thing since, oh my gosh, not since college, but probably just after college. So I've had this for a long time and it's, it's been great. Easily one of my best purchases. It didn't cost that much at the time. Probably cost, I don't know, 25 bucks at the time, but this thing just lasts forever. I don't even think I've changed the bulb in ever. <laughs> Okay, so well, now you've jinxed it. Read the bulb. Oh, huh, probably. Probably go out right about now. Right now. Right now. Ah, oh, see, it did. Ah, oh, I just ruined it. Thanks, MK. Oh, it's back on. Right about meow. Exactly. figure out how I want her, her belt to go. It's 
not a belt, says MK, it's a sash. Belt, sash. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. Oh. It has no structural value. It does. It, she uses it to choke out her enemies. So it does have value. Um, hmm. Also holds her uh, her bathing suit up. <laughs> holds her bathing suit without her sash, her belt. You know, her bathing suit would fall around her ankles. So it's, it's there for a reason. Oh shoot! Forgot to put her pants on. Um, <laughs> I was like, something's missing here. It's like, oh yeah, her <laughs> rest of her costume. That would be very embarrassing to, to, for her to fly out to the rescue and not have any bottoms to her, her swimming suit. Tactical sash, exactly. It's fully automatic. <laughs> her fully automatic tactical sash. Also doesn't have a barrel shroud, says MK. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what a barrel shroud shroud is. I imagine it has something to do with guns, I guess. Although I know very little about guns, I do like shooting them, so. <laughs> um, I.e. that swimsuit better not be tuck friendly. Oh, oh gosh, no. <laughs> no. And oh. Is that what was that what a barrel shroud shroud is? I, I don't know. Is that I don't know. Is it? <laughs> is that what you're talking about? I'm like Oh, hmm. I apologize. There's you on again. Ah. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay. An actual barrel, barrel shroud is, is a widget that sits around the barrel so you can grab it while firing without burning your hands. Okay, it looks all tactic cool, so Hollywood loves them. Okay, got it, 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 got it. Uh, tactical sash barrel shroud sounds like it would conceal. Ah, got it. Mm, interesting. Yes, no, no barrel shroud or anything like that on 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 this uh, tactical sash. Okie dokie. I am yawning way too much, and this is pretty much done. At least the uh, pencil part. I'm gonna, like I said, look at it some more off stream, make some tweaks to it, but this is this is 95% of what I'll be working with when I start inking it. Yeah, probably in the next few days, and uh, you know we'll see we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out cool. But already at this stage looks cooler than Kamala Khan's current look, or rather her past look, since she's now dead. So hopefully they'll bring her back. Maybe they'll bring her back looking like this, all awesome and cool looking. And uh, yeah, maybe she'll pick up some new fans. As a result um but guys thanks for watching i appreciate it thanks for your time your patience with me my terrible live streaming capabilities and uh yeah hope you guys have a great week great rest of, of your weekend and uh yeah if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe hit the bell for notifications of future videos and please give this live stream a thumbs up if you would i greatly appreciate it and uh comment down below Afterwards, let me know your thoughts on the drawing and uh, what you think of it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching again. Take care, and I'll see you later, all right?